Hello everyone and welcome to Tales from the Tavern, the Sea of Thieves official podcast. We're on episode 16, so this is post-launch and we've got an amazing show for you here today. So we have finally launched the game and we've got a bunch of stuff here we want to talk about. Um, so if you are watching the video, we've also got the audio podcast if you want to listen to it when you're on the go. And if you're listening to us, then you can tune in and see us in glorious 4K on the YouTubes. Um, so... Uh, beforehand, I was trying to sleep, <laughs> sleep lines. <laughs> I only ever put makeup on for this. So just to introduce the guests, we're going to go around the round the table, and everyone can see who they are and what they yeah. do. Yeah, uh, Joni, executive producer, and I'm looking at the correct camera. <laughs> I'm Mike Chapman. Des- <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a strange brag. Thanks for confirmation. Yeah. Uh, I'm Mike Chapman, design director. I'm Joe McFarlane, community video manager. Emma Bridal, engagement manager. And I'm Craig Duncan. I'm the studio head. So, so usually we take questions in this one so i just want to set expectations before we go any further that this one we have a bunch of stuff to talk about so in order to get it all squeezed in uh we are haven't been taking questions for the community for this one so you haven't seen the hashtag pop up on no. on twitter to answer that but i promise you in the next one we will we will um take questions from the community and get those in there um yeah, so there's been a bunch of stuff coming out since launch. We have had, obviously, the, the game itself launched on March 20th, like which has mm-hmm. been super exciting. Um, and on YouTube, if you want to check these things out, we've got we've had trailers go up who, with it star Sean Astin in them. Uh, so the, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a special moment, wasn't yeah. it? The Be More blowing. Pirate Museum. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think we've talked about this before, but for, for people who don't know who are listening in, like I think the Goonies were such an important part of, um, I guess, the team working on that prototype, originally kind of thinking of the vision for Sea of Thieves, the idea, a bunch of friends on adventures together, who knows what they're going to encounter along the way. It's a massive inspiration for Sea of Thieves, and obviously we're of that age group, shall we say, where Goonies, that classic 80s film, was a big part of... For me, at least. Most, most of us are. I still haven't yeah. seen it. Sorry. <laughs> you promised. I know, it's you not promised. on Netflix. You promised. <laughs> Start a petition. No. But I, I, like for me personally, and like, I know you're a massive fan as well, and Craig's a massive fan of the Goonies. I hope you are. Yeah, of course. Um, I don't think that's really sunk in yet. <laughs> it hasn't sunk in for me. It's like quite a surreal yeah. thing to watch that trailer. There, was, yeah. there were so many things that have happened in the last like month, right? Mm. Just everything from launch and everything around it that, that it was just another day when just we just released a trailer which <laughs> and then yeah. it was, well, but it was in the afternoon we were doing something else or doing this no, or yeah. doing this or working on this so yeah it's like but it's back uh, again yeah. to the opportunity we've created which is you know just Sea of Thieves what, what's behind it our passion for the, the game even when we were talking about how do we how do we do some launch trailers and mm. what would be cool yeah. and wouldn't it be awesome if we could get you know we, we literally wouldn't it be awesome we would get someone like Sean Aston to do you know talking about pirates that do cool things in our game yeah. and that became the museum kind of thematic mm-hmm. rapper and um, yeah just super cool yeah. and the, f- the fact that the three pirates that he references are real that's players and that they're some of our deck hands yeah. and that's it's so cool. It's amazing. But I remember even those conversations when we were like kind of proposing, let's use Sean Astin for this, like, and having those conversations. And it was like, well, okay, what if, what if he can't do it? Like, let's, what's the backup? And there were some sort of th- ideas thrown around, suggestions and stuff. And then it was, we went through it for a bit and we were like, there isn't one. Like, there literally, <laughs> none of the other so things good. that anyone's suggesting yeah. make sense. This, it just makes perfect logical sense, right? Um, and he would be the perfect character. Having seen him as well again recently in Stranger Things, right? And, yeah. Yeah. and seeing like, no, but seeing him <laughs> in there. I haven't seen that either. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, um, but, you know, it was just, there were so many reasons why I think he just made the right character and, and to see him embrace it as he did. Incredible mm-hmm. um, job. He did a like, great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and, uh, yeah, and... Like we were so unsure whether he was gonna. We wanted some nods, like and references to the Goonies and stuff in there, and it was like we were unsure if whether he was gonna be like, "No, I'm not doing that." Like exactly. anymore, no, it was like, he was above and beyond. I that. think. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. so cool. Would we anger any lawyers? I don't think we have yet, have we? With any of the nods in there, so it's quite I hope somebody checked to that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike looks over to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but you're right. I mean, there's just like so much has gone. I mean, I think January we mm. last recorded the podcast, and that was the first time people could capture could could do anything wow so oh, yeah. okay. that last time we were going oh my god people can stream through. and now we're out that's crazy. you think about all that all that pre-launch momentum yeah. all launch yeah. obviously you know joe and i've done a couple of less glamorous than this videos uh, over the last two weeks oh, three weeks yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been live <laughs> four weeks now i guess uh, just coming up mm. and uh yeah there's so much happening i think even we've not even taken time to take stock of what's been going we on. We fired it's just someone been... out of a cannon. 
We did find yeah. some. We found a human yeah. channel. Yeah. That was again. That was just another thing, wasn't yeah. it? Another like afternoon. Quick, thing turn that it happened. on. That was a week. <laughs> that was a week before launch. That was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. No, it was like the day before or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Like the I think it was like, yeah. Cool. Just not, yeah. Like, I think to your point, Crad, the idea we've done, we've tried to do things that are a little bit unexpected, a yeah. little bit funny, a little bit playful. You wouldn't initially think, like, we're just going to put out a standard trailer. No, we put Sean Aston in it. I think it's just awesome. But I think all that leads to, you know, I guess where we are now, which is, you know, Sea of Thieves, we've come out of the blocks super quick. Um, you know, we've published a couple of momentum data mm -hmm. points which is you know was you know millions of players like we were dealing in hundreds of thousands of players back in january when we last spoke mm -hmm. we're now dealing in millions of players you know we're getting a lot of feedback we've seen a lot of great amazing stories we've yep. seen a lot of people sharing um and our, our community has grown vastly yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like fivefold, sixfold, tenfold. I keep talking to our artists saying, I think we're going to hit 100,000 followers on Twitter. Could you make us an image? And by the time he's coming out, we're going, it's actually 150 now. Yeah. Sorry about that. But... I think it's like 250 now, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah. yeah. It's... But I don't think any, like, well, I certainly wasn't prepared, I don't think, quite for what running a game as a live service like this would be and would entail in terms of the growth of the community, the growth of the yeah. player base, yeah. um, the keenness to hear about what's going on and to have updates and um, and just that, that constant, like, it's the game's always running, like, like yeah. with all of our alphas yeah. and betas and stuff. It, it kind of matches social now because, yeah. for me, it's always work. It's quite hard to switch off because it's always there, but so is the game. They're both all there all the time now, so yeah. it's, it's a new just, world. It is, and we did as much to be prepared for it, and all of our tests running up and all that kind of mm. stuff, but suddenly, like, to, this is the new reality, right? It's for, new normal. For, for us I think as viewers of, like, the, this podcast will know, and anyone who's followed the coverage of CFEs before we launched, this aspiration to run this game as a service has been always at the heart of how mm. we build this game. But like you say, it is... This is where we've always wanted to be, but it is, it's a different reality when you're yeah. there because you've got all these new people coming in, experiencing yeah. the game for the first time, and it, it's an awesome place to be yeah. for us. I think. Yeah. A lot of passionate people as well yeah. with lots yeah. of <laughs> feedback and opinions and yeah. questions and stuff. Like it's, and it's, it's, prob it's awesome. probably worth saying, yeah. I imagine there's a lot of people watching this podcast for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it might be worth just, again, maybe just resetting some of the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's... There's feedback we get, which is amazing, and there's feedback we get, which you know we've made some very bold decisions in Sea of Thieves. You know, credit credit to the team that have have taken those brave decisions and and very kind of committed reasons for them. Um, but hopefully, you know, if we have, and it's probably I'm going to take your your job, John. You know, <laughs> welcoming new people to the podcast. You know, if if you're one of the new. Mm hundreds of thousands of people that have played Sea of Thieves or millions of people that weren't in our insiders that are now playing Sea of Thieves, you know, maybe you're checking out this podcast for the first time. So. Yeah, and Welcome. a huge yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and absolutely, um, if you are joining us on our YouTube channel for the first time, because we have grown, subscriber base has grown massively just over the last month even. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are joining us, like, be sure to keep checking back because we are going to continually update you through video is a huge way we update our community and we just uh, we want to continue doing hit that. Hit the subscribe and, button. Yeah, hit the subscribe button and the wee notification button as well. We bell. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere underneath. But, yeah, but um, but stand there. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but that is our like that's been our approach for the last year or so, if, if not longer, mm. right? In terms yeah. of um, like updating, informing, giving context yeah. around decisions. And I actually think that I've noticed this even more now that like my behaviour has to change, <laughs> like on on Twitter or anything else. Where like like previously I've just been res like respond to a question mm. and like answer something, but now I do that and it just gets taken and it gets posted in forums, you get posted in Reddit, and suddenly you get all oh, these people coming back. Article. Yeah, 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 because and yeah. it's like and you know I think we're going to be making decisions. We're going to be adding stuff to the game. We're going to be changing things, taking feedback, it, like improving, evolving, testing stuff with our players. And it's really even more beholden than, than it ever was on us to now give context around this, to yes. really clearly explain why yep. we're doing these things and what we've considered and all this kind of stuff. Because there's people that love playing in this way or this way or this way. And whenever we make a change, it's going to change stuff. And mm -hmm. like, when we are going to do that, right? <laughs> like that's, yep. that's what we have to do. And, but I think we have to make sure we really clearly communicate it okay. and that you know, when we do make changes, we're going to be assessing it, we're going to be listening, mm -hmm. we're going to be taking feedback. But um, it's... Like, I, th I think I've fallen foul a couple of times of just going, like, here's a simple bit of information that just kind of confirms something. And then it's just like suddenly this barrage of feedback comes my way. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I've got a, there's, it's a, the scale of our community, the scale of the interest and excitement yeah. means that, um, like, it's, it's just we've, we've really got to make sure we explain and talk about yeah, everything with right. the right context. Yeah. I mean, if, when you think about 
obviously you know things like this as a podcast where we can have a conversation and and we'll be very open and transparent as i think we've always tried to be uh with everyone or a blog post that you know you write or i write or mike writes mm-hmm. or whoever um Twitter's great and it's awesome to see people giving immediate feedback. The amount of times I get questions that I just can't answer in 140 or 280 characters yeah. because yeah. Twitter's not a place of nuance. Mm-hmm. So if someone says, hey, explain why you've done this, like you just can't really get into that. But yeah. what we say to people is go keep checking our channels, You know, listen to the podcast. We'll, we will definitely surface the top yes. issues and talk about them. But if we can't respond to every single question on Twitter, yeah. it's normally because you can't do an answer justice in yeah. in a tweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or multiple tweets. Yeah, yeah. And, it's a shame, and the volume right? of it, like, it's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a shame because you want to be as we all want to be as open and transparent yeah. as possible and respond to everyone. Whether that's someone sends you a message on Xbox Live or someone yeah. sends you a tweet or a direct yeah. message, of course you want to respond, but you know you want to do it in the right way and give that like, to Joe's point that absolute context and the thinking behind why we're doing what we're doing because there yeah. are there are some changes that we'll no doubt make over the next couple of months where the the reason behind it won't initially be clear. And yeah. I think it'd be easy to like, take a, a short tweet and jump to conclusions on why we've made that change. And it probably will be something unexpected. And we're, we're, we're thinking about how it connects to another feature that we're planning out. Yeah. yeah, big picture. So a good example of that is the video we released about our plans moving forward like from launch and yeah. like how we're going to grow uh, Sea of Thieves. Yeah, well, I think we've, we've heard loud and clear people want to know this, right? Because we've, yes. again... Leading up to launch, we've been very clear about that we we plan to grow and evolve Sea of Thieves mm-hmm. and, and constantly just enrich the experience in a, in a myriad of ways, right? But then you get a bunch of new people into your community and new players and stuff, and maybe they haven't heard that before, or they just, they've played this and they're like, okay, cool, what's next, what's next? Yeah. And um, and it's we've spent, a, you know, a lot of time, I say a lot of time, like a, like a few weeks, a couple of weeks, like, a, like yeah. most, but really thinking about, like, well, one, listening to feedback on the game experience, yeah. Right? Yeah. on what people have been playing and everything from this, like, much, much bigger player base than we've had before, right? So much broader set of, of, of opinions and feedback and everything. Um, then we've been we've been looking at our plans and going, like, what is the right stuff to bring in? Like, wh- like you know, what's going to be the right stuff for all our players and what they're asking for and the, the feedback they're yeah. giving us and stuff? Like, what's the best way to grow and evolve this? And then what's the best way to talk about that? Um, because... <laughs> We look at the game through a, like a variety of lenses, I guess, don't we? In terms of what are the different things we want to do to to grow and evolve this, we're very purposeful about why we like what type of game we're making yeah. Yeah. and why we put things in and what impact that should have on the game experience. And then we want to be very like over, I guess, detailed and communicative when we put stuff in, why we're doing it, what we're doing. Here's yeah. the context around yeah. it. Yeah. Um, because Sea of Thieves is a game like no other. <laughs> and we'll, we will continue to do that and make decisions and put things in that like that people, you know, some things will be things people expect and want and clamoring for, and some will be like, oh, that's interesting. Wonder why they've done that, right? Um, and, I, you know, and at the same time, we'll always be taking feedback as we move forward. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yes. like, and right, just snare plans continually based on that feedback. Yeah, right. This is the things we're targeting. This is the key stuff with a bit of mystery and a bit of excitement because we yeah, love don't that give the game away. Yeah, right. Um, but but then as we look forward, like we know that we like during that this period as we're working on that stuff, we'll start getting more feedback, start getting feedback on the new things, and we'll be adjusting things and, and move forward. So we'll always have that kind of lens looking forward and we'll be sharing what's kind of coming up but always with that little air of mystery that allows people to speculate and get excited and because yeah, it would be boring if we literally just came here's a list of all things you're getting like yeah, yeah well see, it, does, see it doesn't become new then <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think what we've done well consistently through the whole development is surprise and delight yeah i mean again like no one you take feedback feedback's awesome like no one would ever have given us the feedback to fire someone out of a can yeah spot like like that it's yeah. and for us, you know, it's it's making sure that there's always those things that we can really surprise and delight players with, yeah. um, as well as give people, you know, more of what they love about mm-hmm. Sea of Thieves. And we, you know, the wonderful thing about our game is there's so many different plays, different ways to play, and depending on the mood you're in, depends on how you play the game. You know, whether you're just going to go exploring or whether you're socialising with friends. Yeah, who you're playing with. Yeah, all all, all of that. So yeah. it's just really about making sure that. We continue to evolve the game in the right spirit, but we continue to surprise. Yeah, and I think that was, um, speaks to the lens you're talking about and how we think about new experiences that we add to the game. What we wouldn't want to do is just add, well, we've added this new piece to the game and players rush through it 
and it, it's got no other value we beyond that. You tick it off your list and I'm yeah. done then with it. I yeah. think Sea of Thieves has always been about, like, it's not so much about that destination. We've always said it's about the journey. It's adding it's about, little bits to the experience. Exactly. Which is just Different combinations things, of experience yeah. that make you walk away feeling like you've had a session like no other. And yeah. you're always going to remember it because it's played out in a different way. And we had a new experience that brings value to a, play, uh, to a type of player over here, but also in a different way to a player over here. I think yeah. those are the kinds of things that's going to make Sea of Thieves the game we've always talked about, which is it's endlessly replayable. No two session mm -hmm. plays the same. You can meet new new friends in this game. You can have experiences you can have, experiences that no other game is going to give you. I think that's what Sea of Thieves is about. And I think yeah. that's the way, I mean, obviously, in the video that we share with the new stuff, we, new experiences that we want to add, I think that's how we want to continue this, while at the same time, to Joe's point, um, getting feedback on yeah. What, what things players are loving. I think it's a, a really wonderful position to be in as well, where people are saying to us constantly every day, we love this, we want more. Mm -hmm. Give us more. Yeah. That's a great position yeah. to be in. And if, I, if only we had a dev team working on more stuff. I know, I know. <laughs> like, yeah. that, would, that would be useful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but that's right. And I think, you know, again, for the new people that are in our community, I think we were pretty consistent on the run to launch and all the press mm. and everything we did. Mm. You know, we are, this is a multi-year journey for us. We are 100% committed in supporting Sea of Thieves. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, 100 plus developers working on future content right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we'll continue to build on the great platform we've built as a game, as was always the plan. Yeah. Yeah. I think like the what the video did a, a job for us as, as for doing for us as well was showing that kind of cadence yeah. like mm. of of when we were planning to release these things yeah. and, and the kind of idea of how much you can expect from each from each drop. Yeah. Like Yeah. I think like weekly events kind of done Sea of Thieves style are gonna be critical and yeah. super cool as well to yeah. just like you know, for players that are coming back to play with their friends and maybe they're, like, they're, you know, they're setting up an appointment or a schedule or whatever, like each weekend, let's all get together, let's play this Friday night together. To have, like, to know there's always going to be something different, something new, something fresh, and that you, like, some of those will be introducing new features and new things into the game, which, mm -hmm. to, to, to your points, is that now there's, a, like, you introduce a new feature with with a kind of weekly event, and now that's in the game forever, and it's but yeah. it adds to the emergence and stuff. Yeah, it's um, another ingredient. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. another ingredient to the, to the mix. And, but at the... the uh, at the same time, you're, we're going to wrap a cool event around it that yeah. gives you some goals, gives you some things to go and achieve, helps you kind of progress, that the broadens your kind of journey to, you know, to become a legend, that kind of yeah. ultimate um, goal that people are, are on that journey towards. But also we'll do it around existing things and we've got this amazing world that we can add events around that encourage exploration and discovery and we can hide things in there for people to find and we're using the cool, like firing yourself out of cannon mechanics and stuff to, to go and do cool things in that world. Like... Um, really just encourage that experimentation, that playfulness of the, the cool things we've got there. I think it's going to be really interesting to have that balance between yeah. between how yeah. the, we run the I think events. everything you've just mentioned there is it's just as relevant for if you are a pirate legend or you're still on that journey to become one, all of that, it's relevant for everyone. There's new things to go accomplish, new things to go and experience yeah. in this game. New rewards. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And, and just, that, just that sense, we, we did talk about this a lot, like in the run-up to launch, which is that sense that, See if the, the sea of these world is always changing. There's always kind of new things added. There's new visitors to the world. There's these new things to go and accomplish. Like that's what that kind of event cadence gives us. Yeah. And it's so there's something new every time you come and play Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I see clients like, hey, I've, you know, I've done everything, and it's just like, like we've never built a game to be consumed in that way. Like some games you, you consume. You know, you yeah. you start at level one and you play through the story and then you finish at whatever. You you yeah. kill the final boss and then you're done. You know, at Sea of Thieves, we always wanted this evolving experience. We always wanted you to, you know, I played with the family at the weekend and, you know, we went out and had a session together that was awesome and epic, which might be different to if Mike and I played on a duo crew and we'd probably do different goals and have different things. And, and I think all of, all of these evolving aspects of our game all lend themselves to that. You know, invite yeah. you back in, invite you back in with your friends to have that great experience. You're never done. And, and I think that the fact that we've been working on this for so many years and we can still play it and see people using things in a new way or doing something new with something we thought we'd seen everything on it, but we haven't. Yeah. People are still finding new ways to play. I think I saw... I'll just continue. Exactly, <laughs> every, yeah. every Every new experience we add, yeah. you're going to see those different combinations. Mm. Yeah. I saw an amazing article um, recently, and I've, I'm sorry because I forget who it was from, um, but it just ended with, like... Um, 
Sea of Thieves isn't necessarily a game, but a place to be. And I think like that's what really sinks in. It was, it was Kotaku. Kotaku, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that really sunk in for me. It's like, yeah, that is what we're doing. We're building this world, enriching it like constantly, just to make sure that every time you jump in, there's something you want to hop back in to and, go explore. Yeah. Did, did yeah. you see the two kids giving away the yes. oh, chess yes. for Easter? Oh, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. 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 No, I'm just saying oh, we haven't spoke yeah. since. Sorry. I'll send it. I'll send you. Please, please. Craig showed me at like ten o'clock at night, and I was tired and emotional. It's just oh, so nice. But like, but genuinely, my favorite thing so far since launch has been um, we did a team update right like about probably a week after launch talking about here's some of the data here's some of all the, the yeah. stuff but um, but here are all the fa- the best stories I've seen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just trawling Reddit yeah. trawling the forums trawling Twitter and like so it's videos it's screenshots it's memes and GIFs, like so yeah yeah GIFs, everything like, yeah. like the two people that used the two different colour lanterns as police, police. lights yeah. on the front of the um, the thing yeah. like amazing like like you say, the, the the kids just going around going, it's Easter, like with these. Um, right, people just, it's good, yeah. it's good just Friday, we're doing good things. Here's yeah, yeah. a chest, Here's just, happy just pirating. And then, they just, and then they just kind of salute and then they, they jump go, off. Bye. And they're like, bye, bye, and then they jump off the Have boat. Have a great Easter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah. We used to like, like, emit like so many stories of like, we always dreamt that people would make up their own lyrics to the shanties. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. we used in our Let's Play videos that we we did in this, like the, the broadcast lab, we we would go around giving chests away, remember? Mm. Yeah. Like, we just yeah. be play acting, having fun with it, and people are now yeah. doing that for really in our Seen community. That, the Becamed um, a cappella. That, that is amazing. Oh, I sent amazing. it to Rob, and he is... got really emotional because yeah. I kept sending him more. Because I said, "Oh, you know, when YouTube it pops up, you should watch this next." So I was going, "Oh, and here's another one. Someone's done it on the violin, the piano." The violin this one was Keegan incredible. Allen did a piano cover of it on his Instagram to oh, really? six million followers. Yeah, wow. it, Becamed's taken a, on that. a life like, of its what's own. What's lovely about that? I think that's one of my like favorite things that I've seen recently. Yeah. So I think Becamed is a thing. Mm-hmm. Like yes. on on the dev team, it's it's like everyone's yeah. favorite shanty. It's the one that everyone gets kind of melancholy about when they're you know they're playing at the yeah. end to a sunset. And it's definitely the Sea of Thieves dev team favorite shanty. And yeah. it's just to get it picked up the same way with their community. It's like everyone just loves. Picard it was yeah, it's, so it's many. Great. There's so much stuff out there that you know we haven't seen yet. And the Skeleton Cloud song, yeah, which Don and I were, were so, talking about, maybe yeah. opening with a rendition of it, but we decided not to. Yeah, but yeah. is it Xander? Xander. Xander. Yeah. yeah, five years old. Five and, years. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's got a. Song. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it is like an earworm. Oh, it I sticks know. there. Like, it sticks <laughs> I there. I remember sitting at home and listening to it on Twitter and then humming it for the rest of the night. Like, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable. It's, it's so good. Absolutely adorable. And then, yeah, Dan went and covered it. Nails. Nails, sorry. Nails is my pirate band. That's his pirate name. <laughs> I know. I did say we didn't tag yeah. you because we're keeping it in character. But yeah. Uh-huh. But yeah, down on the beach with his yeah. mandolin in his pirate outfit. So anyway, we digress. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's what cool do we, stuff what do we digress Honestly, for? that's the stuff that excites us <laughs> yeah. the yeah. most. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like things you couldn't ever have predicted and that people playing the game in the way we always imagined and um, doing amazing things and, and like... <sighs> You know, becoming legendary pirates, right? Yeah. Like, but they are in our community, and yeah. like the you know those the those top rows, the things that get retweeted, the things that get shared, the things that like make you go, wow! Like, that you see the people with 150 chests on their ship. Yeah, and oh, yeah. yeah, it's all of that stuff. Though, yeah. But that's like that's that's as much what we envisioned people becoming legends in our community, right? It's you, like, you, when you say like things we imagined, yeah. it's like we may have imagined it, but we we didn't know for sure this kind of stuff was going to happen. We yeah. may have hoped, yeah. but like yeah. we get excited just as much as people in the community when we see these things happen for real. It is awesome. Like, there's no other word for it. No, it's so the, inspiring for yeah, us, I think. The community on the team had that. You go, okay, well, we know, like for the closed beta, we know people are going to be able to share content for the first time. Okay, we think we're ready for this. And then you come in the, after the weekend, you go, wow, I didn't see it at that scale. All the things people have been doing, you you think you're ready for it. And then people surprise you. And when it comes to the Pirate Legend stuff, it's it's down to, I mean, we always like, like when you think about it as a goal, mm. like people think about it as this, like well, it could be like a number thing to tick up to it, all 50 on those Pirate Legends. But when we think about it, it's more like a, a story, a journey, yeah. right? Yeah. Like It's like, it's about... Like people creating their own legends within that, and it's how, yeah. how about the how, it's how they journey to that power. Yeah, I think mean, like Sea of Thieves, and we've always said this. We've said it on this podcast. It, you know, it's about that journey. It's not about the destination. Mm-hmm. At the same time, of course, something super long term that you know that players want to aim for and slowly make progress towards. I think that's important as well. Mm-hmm. I think it's just really interesting to think of like how we look at kind of experiences and content in the game. Like we only. We, we saw everyone's journey there being subtly different. It's just interesting to see that like people just see that as the main goal and just, just put all their time and effort to reaching that goal. And that's cool, but I think it'd be cool to see 
people kind of taking their time and like taking part in the events and slowly mm. chipping away towards you now becoming legend and people experiencing it in different ways. Yeah, I was just going to say, it did surprise me, the race yeah, aspect and, of it. Yeah. Because that was never really something we, you know, in all of the, all of the discussions about building Sea of Thieves and yeah. it being about the journey, not the destination. Uh, I mean, I guess it's human nature, it's gaming, it's what mm. games have, have taught people to do, but... But that's what's kind of cool because it's like that's what part of their story was, mm -hmm. like that race. And that yeah, was yeah. part of their legend. And it's like yeah. other people will have different types of ways of making it to be legend. It's like, yeah. but that's part of their story. And it's like, I love that. Like, I love that. And I love that we're starting to see the small group of players that, you know, they've, they've, you know, they've put their time in, they've become part of legend. They are now shepherding other players, other players. on their legendary voyages that we always wanted. So their journey to attaining that goal is going to be subtly different there because they're going to have the help yeah. of a legend. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of story we wanted to have because you know, we, you know you can only really do that in a game like ours one of the things that's slightly connected in your post i think it was one week after was the was 500 000 xbox live friendships yeah and it, it it's, it's so cool yeah that was that was super humbling to yeah. to kind of pull that and, and obviously we look at data and things all the time but um it, it's it's interesting when you because because people i go hey what, where does that number come from? Is mm. that a real stat? Um, actually, if you use the stat about how many people use the make friends emote, it's like 1.6 million. Yeah. So that was the first number that the BI team came back with. Like, oh, 1.6 million people have made friends. It's like, well, they haven't. They've used the make friend emote. But when we honed down the criteria, this was people that have actively made friends on Xbox Live and then played Sea of Thieves together or have played Sea of Thieves together and then made friends afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like half a million bona fide. Yep. You have made a new friend playing. Sea I've of got Thieves. people on my friends list. I've you know I've played as a three. Someone's come in and we've gone. That was really cool. I'll play with yeah. you again. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. great. And I imagine it's more now. Like that was three weeks ago. Yeah. So we should probably just go pull the latest info. But yeah. But yeah. Honestly, some of my favourite stuff has been just going into the game, going in a like duo sloop. Just with a stranger and just seeing seeing what happens, seeing what they're up to and like what they want. And like I've played with a couple of people. There was someone called Jack um, who like just got home from school. I think he was like oh. in year ten or something. Um, so I guess fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. And um, uh, you know, and we just went out and rented. I showed him my rare sails, and he was like, "Oh wow, like you're from the team." And then he was like, oh, "I recognise your voice. This is cool." And then we just went out exploring, and so we got to. Um, well, we, we were heading out basically just to do a, a quest of some kind, I think, a bounty, I think. And we saw another small ship, and I was like, hey, what do you want to do? He's like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, no, no, it's up to you. Come on, like, you decide. He's like, well, normally I don't fire on other ships unless they fire on me. I'm like, cool, we'll, we'll do that. So, <laughs> good, good conduct. Yeah, exactly, right. Yeah, yeah, well, well, raised, <laughs> well raised child. Yeah, but yeah young, young, young man. Yeah, young man. And, um, and so... You know, we, we got to Ireland, we, we took the bounties down, we collected some stuff and we, we were headed back towards an outpost and then we saw a ship at the outpost just starting sailing towards us and we were like, okay, don't fire, like, you know, we'll just sail past them. So we were still on the front all waving <laughs> and it just went past and, you know, that kind of tense moment where yeah. the cannons are facing each other but you're just... Are you, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so they headed off. So we got to the, the outpost and um, he got off and we started kind of taking stuff to cash it in and... Then I, the ship had kind of turned around and started coming back, and and I was like, uh oh, I think they're coming back. And I was like, I tell you what, you keep crashing in. I'll just wait on the boat and I'll I'll protect us. You know, I'm pretty handy with a with a sword and a, and a gun. <laughs> um, um, and uh, and then they just kind of pulled up next to us, and then they came over, and and I was like, hey, what what are you up to, guys? And uh, one of them started using text chat, and and I was like, oh, uh, like like, can you hear me? He's like, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, cool. I'm like, what what are you guys up to? And like, oh, we're completely new to the game. Like, we've got Aww. no we've got no idea what's going on. <laughs> like, and then I saw on their boat, I just saw they'd had a hole because they'd come in cl too close to the island. So I jumped on and I just started hammering <laughs> it. And um and then uh, the other guy Jack came came back and we just started communicating with them that like one of them was talking, one of them was using text chat, and and so I just started giving them a guided tour of the boat. I was like, so here is this, here's where you get the wood from and like here's the map and you put a quest down here and they're like oh, this is amazing I, I think i think they were welsh um yes. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um so we I, we just gave them this help and then jack who i was playing with came out of nowhere and just deposited like a really valuable chest like i think a captain's chest on their boat and was just like here you go just to get you started <laughs> and um <laughs> and they were just like oh that's brilliant lads like <laughs> and um uh like like thanks so much and then they were just like they sailed off into the into the Aww. distance right and um you know then we didn't tell them who, like i didn't 
to them who I was. Obviously, I told Jack, and so he knew I was from a dev team. But we we just you know we encountered this crew that was out there, and this kind of stuff happens to me all the time. But I always like playing in that small thing with yeah. strangers, just to yeah. have that kind of close, that close relationship dynamic with someone. Yeah. And just I start asking them questions about what they like, what they don't like, this kind of stuff. Yeah, and I do the same. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we, when but, we did the um, when we did the first all team meeting, I think like say it was after the first week, mm. and. You know, Joe and I kind of talked to the team quite a lot and asked the team, like, hey, who's who's played the game since launch? And we've all shipped games before, and normally, like, you know, you, you play what you work on for two years, three years, whatever, yeah. and then you go on holiday after launch because you literally can't bear to play it again. And it's like, who's played the game after launch? Pretty much every hand was up yeah. there. So I'm like, okay, so this is my test to the team. Keep your hands up if you've played with random people in our community so our, our customers, and again, nearly like nearly unanimously, all the hands are up. Yeah, and it actually like it made me feel super proud to just see everyone in the studio, mm. like saying they're playing, like they played that first weekend, they played that second weekend with people in in our game, which is awesome. Yeah, and again, I think it came through in the the start of this week where we talked. Uh, the team through the latest plans, right? In terms of internally, here's the latest stuff we're going mm -hmm. after, right? Um, uh, and then it's questions at the end, and the amount of questions you get about game experience and about like literally like, hey, we we need a better avenue for feedback internally so we can give yeah. feedback yeah. and, and yeah. you guys stuff. Like, I, I, again, like I love that that there's so many people here that are passionate, and the amount of emails you get with this late night kind <laughs> of, yeah. we should go do this and this. I was playing with this person and this and that, and like, yeah, like. Everyone's playing. Everyone's giving feedback internally as well, and that's yeah. like it's, it's a lot of stuff to take in and a lot of stuff to then go and make decisions around. Right? And I'd, I'd say, I'd like, like all of those questions are the, they're community focused. Mm -hmm. They're based on air team playing the game, but then they're reading Reddit, they're reading the forums, yeah. they're playing with random players, they're getting that feedback, and that's on their minds as well. And that that's how it should be, right? Yeah. We should all be focused on players first, and anything we add should fulfill those needs mm -hmm. and talking about being player for us like we we have kind of always had this idea that the first kind of month month and a bit is going to be about looking at where the game is and like taking that feedback into account yep. and like readjusting our sales mm -hmm. but also addressing what we can in that time right yep. and that's what yeah. we have been doing right mm -hmm. so um yep. can you tell us a bit more about the kind of feedback we've been kind of working yeah. on over the past well well, well that the first week was just making sure the game worked as we expected, like with yeah. all of the launch kind yeah. of status and it was stuff. There's definitely a lot of scale based mm -hmm. challenges yeah. that, you know, when, and again, without going into the architect, you know, we, we have servers, we have services, we have our client, like we, you know, see if these is part of this system. It has Xbox Live, it has all of these things that have to work together. Um, and then when you stress that with millions of players. Yeah. You you exposed some seams that we didn't have in our in our closed beta and uh, and that was things we had to work on and address and things like um, you know gold entitlement and balance when people cash stuff in uh, things like achievements you know how hard our achievement service got hit which is all server side mm -hmm. and all this operational stuff that actually isn't particularly sexy in terms of making games <laughs> yeah it's it's raw operational services servers uh, is all stuff that you've got to get right and yeah. and you know so there was a lot of focus on that uh, our services team were making a ton of changes behind about things like matchmaking times and matchmaking pools and and just a lot of stuff behind the scenes that thankfully we could update without needing a client like we didn't need to push a new build to people um and then we've done two three client updates one client update two patches three Three patches, yeah. yeah. Um, Lost all the sense of time. But I think it's that, you know, I, I think our commitment is if there are customer issues, we are on them and we address yeah. them. Immediately. Uh, and then obviously going into the game evolution and content, yeah. we want to keep, keep that going as well. Yeah, because the stuff around kind of people not using the brig in the right way and us bringing in public and private yeah. matchmaking and yeah. stuff. Like, that's something we've had planned for a while, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the idea of just giving giving their players just more control over their sessions, especially when friends are coming online and you want them to seamlessly join you on yeah. a ship and having the freedom of, do you want players you haven't met before joining your ship because they may help out, or do you want to just make it a private game for a smaller group of friends? I think just giving players more control over that is something that we wanted to do and we're going to go do that. Yeah, 
And but it's one of the things we'll put in like everything we put in, we'll put it in, we'll test it, yeah. we'll take feedback and then like if we need to adjust and change and improve, then we'll we'll continue to do that. Like there's always gonna be a constant thread of what are the top feedback points and what are we doing about them alongside what are we doing to add new things and yeah. grow yeah. the experience yeah. and stuff. Like that's always gonna be our constant focus, right? Um uh, so, you know, I think like we, we always plan to come at it from that angle, which is like, let's get the game operating as we expect. Let's go for the top feedback points and figure out what we do about those. And then like, like we are going to be taking feedback and, and revising the kind of some Re- of that, some of the plans. Based on yeah. what, what they're saying, what come. you guys are saying. And, yeah, yeah. you know, we're listening and we don't just say that we're, we're yeah. doing it. Well, yeah. <laughs> we've done that. I mean, yeah. the reality is our post-launch plans, pre-launch, let me get all my pre's and posts <laughs> through it right, yeah. are different to what they are now. Yep. yep. Because yeah, yeah. we're now you know, two, three weeks, player information back. You know, literally we've spent probably the last two, three weeks in rooms looking at feedback, looking at sentiment, looking mm-hmm. at roadmap, mm-hmm. um, looking at our work and which order it falls in yeah. and, and making sure that we, you know, address and, and hit the stuff that we ultimately think brings the best value to the future of the game. Yeah, yeah. and with that in mind, we have deprioritized a couple of things that we talked about previously, right? Um, yes. So what, one of those being pets, um, as something that we were planning to bring in, um, mm-hmm. that you know, when we were talking about growing and updating Sea of Thieves, we were looking at, you know, our focus for launch is launch, and then as we grow and evolve, we were looking at bringing in pets, which was a, like, which was going to be a way that people could spend money in Sea of Thieves. Um, but we've deprioritized that in terms of we still want to do it, um, but it's not like our top things that we're going after right now, mm-hmm. like. Um, you know, we we had to tell the team that at the start of the week. Right? Hey, like amazing work you've done so far on yeah. this, and amazing animations. Like, it looks great. But we're gonna pause actually, it for yeah, we're going to pause yeah. it for now, and we're going to move on to the things that are actually going to provide more value. Yeah, that we talked to about in the video. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and the same applies to ship captaincy, right? As like we've looked at that, it's cool. Yeah. Um, you know, it was going to be something that was kind of only exclusive to Pirate Legends. Yep. Um, and actually, like the value of going and doing all that work, um, bringing that in versus spending our time right now on enriching the journey for everybody yes yeah you know more yeah. like giving you more opportunities more ways to kind of progress different things to to enrich in that that journey that that will be great for for legends and other players um is is our focus right now in the yeah. in the short term right? and i think what I think not everyone will know this who's maybe listened to the podcast for the first time but we you know we ran a technical alpha program we had a, a, a program with what we call their pioneers which mm-hmm. were super engaged players where we would um like we would adjust our content plans. We'd always have a vision for where we wanted Sea of Thieves to go. And then we'd adjust our content plans based on the feedback and where they were finding value. Yeah. And it would be wrong to change the way we've operated so far. Mm-hmm. Like we've said we want to be reactive yeah. to feedback as well as preemptive around what we think is going to bring value to the game. But it would be wrong for us to say that now we're launched, we're actually going to push on with the things that we think we want to do yeah. when the community are telling us otherwise. That would be the wrong way yeah, to exactly. run this game. Yeah. So it's better to say, you know, we've said some things before, but now, no, that's not what you're telling us. People are telling us they want different experiences that do enrich that journey. Mm-hmm. So that's where we need to invest our time and our effort. And it's not to yeah. say we won't do those things, but that's not the focus right now. Yeah, and, well, it, and it comes back sorry, to me talking a little bit about... The, the amount of time we spend thinking about how we should talk about what we're doing and mm. how much you go into the future versus, and how much detail um, because things will evolve, things will change. We'll, we'll, we'll build, even right now, those those things that's on <laughs> kind of on that short-term few months of stuff, the, the detail of all of those things will evolve and change when we get it in, we play test it a bit, we get it into players' hands, we play test it. And, you know, we know at a high level what is the, the, the spirit of the things we're going after, yeah. right? But the detail will evolve and change because yeah. um, it's a live multiplayer game where everyone's playing it and... Yeah. The, the how people use things and interact with it and all those amazing stories we didn't expect of how people use mechanics right um like is it like that makes us go oh we should do more of this or less of this or we should change this it's like it's um it's a real interesting challenge honestly yeah. um so you know we're, we're now in a step where we've talked and showed hey this is the way that we want to grow and evolve over the yeah. next um a uh, few months and then we've got to go and do that and then we've got to go and do that again with the next stuff and the next stuff yeah, and, exactly yeah. and, although, and although obviously we're already planning that stuff out we're talking about it now super exciting stuff that comes beyond the stuff that we've already shown in, in that video but i have no doubt that we'll like May will come out, May update will come out, June update will come out, and we will we might tweak what comes yeah. beyond that based yeah. on that feedback. Mm-hmm. Like that's just going to continue happening, and that's, that's yeah, the it's right a new way world for us because previously when we were doing the technical alpha, we'd put something in there, people would play, it, and then the game was offline, and then you guys were working on things, and then we'd go back mm. online. We're live all the time now. Yeah, yeah. so and it's a different yeah. way of working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah, a good way, like a good example of that that we've kind of like tried to address recently is 
stuff to do with the brig. Yep. Right? Because it's like the brig, you could automatically think of it as, oh, everyone's trolling everyone and just automatically locking the brig. And that is a good assumption to jump to if you're just kind of taking that up front, like face value. It's, but, but when you actually look into that data and when we look into how people are using it, it's like actually there's some other changes we can make to some other systems, like allowing people to fill their own crews in with their friends yes. and allowing them to do it. Yes. And, Match um, making matchmaking. my microphone or not. And stuff. Yeah. 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 People, yeah, yeah. Like data tells us that. Um, it's being used as basically to control that session, session, to control their their crew and who's in it, which is obviously yeah. not what it's intended to do. But the answer is not necessarily with the brig; it's about supporting features, which we've talked about. Yeah, and I think so. We'll we'll get those features in, right? They're all in progress. They're all in various states of getting close to, to getting into players, like the um, and. We'll then test that and we'll be like, has this made the difference that we expect? You know, and it will make a difference. But then what other instances are there of this? And and also I think we'll look into like, are people are, are there people who are just abusing the rig? <laughs> you know, even yeah. like outside of this. And and then we'll look into to measures and steps around that. Because yeah, if people are right. using a tool negatively against other players, like even if once we put in place ways for them to 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 play in the way they want and everything else, we'll look at that of and course, we go, yeah. actually what what steps should we take against this? Yeah. Like they, they, you know, because there's a there's a right way to play and use tools and use mechanics and stuff. And right now there's a few loopholes, I guess, or whatever, however you describe it, of ways that there's there's things that we should be allowing people to to do yes. right, with the public yeah. private stuff yeah. and and the mic kind of things and the language stuff too, obviously. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll be looking at that and going if if people are using this, they're not behaving in the right way, and we'll well, you know we'll we'll take steps. And it's kind of you mentioned this in your. Um in your blog post about things like uh, hacking and clients aim bots and yep. I think again whole new area for us you know we've got a team of people looking into it um, you know it and it, it's kind of interesting the word you use there John which is like hey everyone's seeing this and again a lot of the feedback and I, I get it like people articulate it in a way of like hey this is like this is a massive problem everyone's going to go do this and the fir- almost our first port of call is like okay what do we actually think you know we've got some cheap protect prevention stuff in there we can go look at the data tends to be a few people trying to spoil it for everyone like you go have a look at it and then it's as you said in your blog post Joe. like what's the remedy we go take on that yep. let's make sure we analyze that let's make sure if players are act, if players are doing something that ultimately is you know ruining the game for other players it's probably our yep. first lens yep. you know let's make sure we take action against that that could be yep toxicity in its worst case that could be cheating and exploits in the other case but yeah we take that seriously we want a live multiplayer game to last forever and we know a lot of that is about players and health of community and and all those things so we we, we take it with utter seriousness right and like you know for, for people who do cheat and kind of and use tools and stuff that is ruining experience for other people like it will be zero tolerance yeah, we will, yeah we will like, we will be banning up to and including platform level bans right that's yeah. what we said in I the think, blog post and it's true so. and i think for players you know players should report it yep. if they yeah, if absolutely. they feel they've come across that or they're on the other side of that and i think for people doing it you know a our game I don't think lends itself to being hacked and exploited to gain benefits over other players. I think you know a lot of the things we've done in the game design yeah. about the journey and and being a collaborative experience. It's not like a game that's just dog eat dog mm. and to for, so someone can win at the yeah. end of it. Yeah. Um, but equally, you know, we don't want people in. We don't want people ruining it for other people, yeah. so we'll we'll continue to take action and and the preventive stuff around the technology. You know, our engineers continue to look at, and that's that's a little bit of a war of attrition, like because we all go stop stuff and stop hacks, and people all do work rounds, and yeah, you know, that's just a thing with games. Um, but hopefully they'll get bored and go ruin someone else's game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or we'll ban them. And, and, and or they'll see the error of their ways yeah, and hopefully. become a fully functioning member of online society. Make some friends. Um, <laughs> <could happen. laughs> God, God bless the internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just to kind of quickly end this thing, because we're, we're kind of running ahead uh, out of time here, is um, what is everyone up to very quickly? At the moment, I know we've kind of covered like a base of everything, but what are we kind of up to? You normally ask that level? question at the start. You put it at the end. It's always just, at the end. Just, just to keep you? things yeah. fresh. Oh, it's always just before the question, uh, which is okay. there's no question. Oh. <laughs> Next time. Let's yeah. see. Um, God, a whole a whole myriad of things. <laughs> like really, like it's um, but obviously the focus has been like I think it's been quite 
apparent what my focus has been because I've written blog posts about it or I've, or I've done videos about it. Do you want to see what's on YouTube, the website? Or we've put, a, yeah. or we've put, a, or we've put a, a, a plan for how we want to grow and evolve the game out. But um, right now, it's very much the making sure that all of that work is in progress and all of the stuff that's being worked on is the, the right stuff and everything. But we're also, like, we're very much looking beyond that too, right? I mean, in terms of what's the longer term stuff, yeah. what's the yeah. things with longer tails that we can kick off that need us to start building a lot of content or a lot of stuff. Um, uh, so, so a lot of that, but I think a lot will also be just working with you and figuring out, like, I think just our how we talk about the game and how we mm. communicate and everything else, it can't just be the same as, as it was during the, yeah. the alphas and yeah. beats. Um, you know, because those inside stories about things that we've put out and, and everything else, like that's, like, uh, of features that already exist or whatever, that's of interest to some people, like, and we might get into a rhythm of doing those occasionally and in some form, but, like, we're also in a place where people want to be teased about the next yeah. stuff and yeah. things. And, yeah. yeah, and so it's, yeah. um, there's, there's going to be a real mix and balance. I think we're going we're gonna to find our feet on that mm -hmm. front. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about that quite a lot, about, like, you know, like I said, I'm going, I'm going through a learning curve right now where like, I, I reply to tweets or I yeah. do this or I say it like, and like, and suddenly it's like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> that's a news article. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's just like, we, we've, it's a different world. Like, right. It and is. So, I know we keep yeah. saying it, but it really is, I think. Yeah. And we're all learning as we go, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, like exactly. And we'll, we'll keep trying to do the right thing and we'll keep trying to talk about things in the right way. But like, um, it's just, yeah, our, our commitment is to grow and evolve this game. Like, for as, as, yeah, this like, is just so the beginning, um, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not the beginning, but but it kind yeah, of is. It is, it is phrase, kind of, it is yeah. Well. And um, so it's, it's, it's real really, beginning. yeah, yeah, yeah. It it really is. To me, we as players, it's the beginning. Yeah, because yeah. they haven't been along the journey with us. Yeah, and so it's about how we communicate and listen and, and yeah. all that stuff. How we build that community and that relationship with with those with all of those players, all of those people. You know, the new people watching this or reading it, and it's it's about that. It's like it's it's just a different. It's a completely different thing. But I think um, I think broadly behaving in the same way that we have so far, like about being open and transparent, like being explaining what we're doing, why we're doing it, and what we believe is so special about Sea of Thieves is like is gonna be the right way to go and do this. Um and and build that relationship with that much bigger community and that level yeah. of trust yeah. and that level of kind of belief in the in us and what we're doing and why we're doing it and stuff like that. So that's kind of all those things are in my head at the moment and, and kind of the things that I'm thinking about and figuring out what to do about. So. Mine too. Yeah. yeah I think, <laughs> Basically, I think yeah, yeah. Joe and I are on very similar ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's why, why sorry. I think Joe, probably we all are, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, completely. I think that's why this is a beginning because like people are joining us for the first time. They're going to be looking to, well, how are we going to engage with the community? What are the types of new experiences we are going to add? The yeah. video we shared this is the types of things we're talking about when we're talking about evolving the game as a service and then beyond that. I think for me, it's been, again, the, the contents of that video, kind of overseeing that, making sure that we've, we, you know, we're constantly delighting players, we're, we're being receptive to the feedback, but we're not just doing the like exactly obvious things, we're reacting to that feedback in, 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 the, in a cool way, in an unexpected way, but also looking beyond that now, I think we're like looking in detail at what's happening beyond the stuff that we've already talked about. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. where my head's at now, so... This is like brave new world of future yeah. content for Sea of Thieves. This is what's exciting. It's my favourite type of planning as well because it's planning that you're going to do and you know it's going to change. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a surprise, but, but yeah, just let you know. <laughs> that, like, yeah, yeah. I love it. I, the memes are amazing, yeah. but it's changed every single time. Yeah, yeah. Like they've always been invaluable. We're just basically we're moving things around. I know. We're like tweaking, like, nipping and tucking and tweaking things and adding yeah. a few new things yeah. here and there. But yeah. like they, it's well, quite got, funny. You've got your future change. bucket of stuff that we'll yeah. then align to whether it's September, October, yeah. Yeah. next January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. next June yeah exactly you know, like you say what have we got to start now if we want to do something a year from now yeah. that yeah. has a long lead time yeah. so it's, yeah. it's all it's, it's not all equal is as well there's there's a difference there's there's some stuff for the game that we've built and the, you know the, the type of experience that Sea of Thieves is it's just so cool you've just got to do it there's some stuff where we're like we're definitely going to do this like it's just like everyone's going to love it it's just awesome it belongs in this yeah. game the stuff where we're like yeah it's awesome but not sure when is the right time to do it. Yeah. And the stuff where we're like, mm, maybe if people find value here, this is the way to grow that experience. So yep. there's things kind of break down in different ways. Lots of moving it, parts at once. Right? Yeah, but like, like massively exciting to start. Yeah. Like we've launched the game. We're now truly look forward looking to what's mm. coming next and how we grow this game. Like, like massively excited about that at the moment. I think like, like you were saying, Joe, it's probably working with you and it's just making sure that we have a kind of rock solid plan in place and a way to deliver 
like consistent updates like on a regular basis yep. that um and we can make sure we're always communicating with with everybody out there and keeping keeping their heads above water yeah what about yourself similar to joe just on a community front it's sort of all of what we're doing all ties in together you know we've our audience our community has grown by a lot very quickly the game is out there it's live all the time and it's looking at that audience and figuring okay now we're the other side what are we telling them how are we telling it um yeah joe's, joe's already covered it really <laughs> should have asked me first <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think though that that i, I don't know that, that is reflective of of what our focus is right yeah. which is about it's about players it's about community it's about talking yeah it's like and it's nice that we're all doing that it's not just oh the community team are the only ones dealing with the community and the only ones thinking about it it's central to everything we're all doing yeah it's yeah, it's, yeah. Our, yeah. our players we're all thinking about our it. players are our lifeblood our yeah players are the most important thing to us yeah i guess for me I, there's two things i think about primarily one is just having a sense of balance you know we have launched the biggest ip biggest new ip this generation for xbox yeah like, great amazing we've had over half a million new friends we've you know broken all these records like our you know our pc audience is in incredible and you know again we're the fastest selling win 10 game like so you know, there's a load of things we've done in terms of momentum where we've achieved a number of firsts with that we've had a load of scale issues and customer issues and people want more and people like so it's this balance which is hey we've achieved a lot of great success but we've also got a lot of things that we can do to fix and improve and and just be balanced about that you know we can't be you know trumped into the rooftops massive success and forgetting about the issues and equally we shouldn't all dwell on all of the issues because there's people having amazing times mm -hmm. with our game and and we need to not forget that you know we've created something incredible um so that that's one so yeah i guess my job at this time is to try and just be that sense of balance with the team and you know when people are dwelling on this problem that they've got to solve kind of tell them we've made something great and it's successful and equally if we're getting too complacent because we're reading all the good stuff keeping us honest that we're focusing on the things we need to do uh and then the second is just making sure that everything you know mike joe emma the team john yourself want to do that we're you know well funded well supported to go do that you know we have this amazing opportunity with sea of thieves we're we're all in you know the only ever conversations i have with phil and matt and the leadership team are like hey like go go double down on sea of thieves go make it amazing and um so it's just making sure the team have everything they need to mm -hmm. to go make sea of thieves even more awesome than it is now so awesome well, I think that's about all we have time for. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining today. And thank you, if you are one of the people who have joined us for the first time, thank you very much. And we feel grateful to be that you're on this journey with us, um, with Sea of Thieves. And we will be continuing to do these videos, as I say, on a weekly basis. You'll see at least some sort of video come out, as well as a Not developer podcasts update. podcasts on a weekly basis. Uh, yeah, some sort of video. Some like, sort of podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, as well as a developer update um, from, from someone on the team. Um, if you are listening, as I said at the beginning, if you're listening to this on audio, then you, you should know that there's a video version available. If you're watching the video and you're thinking, I'm not going to have a chance to watch videos all the time, we do have audio versions available. You took my line. That's usually my podcast thing. Yeah. apps. Yep. Yes. Um, and, and we won't leave it so long next time for the next yeah, podcast. Yeah. I mean, so. I said that last time. I was going to say, you say that every time. I say that every time, but yeah. We were launching a game. Yeah. That's true. Um <laughs> So yeah, absolutely tune in again for the next podcast whenever that is. Uh, we'll keep it updated. <laughs> keep it like yeah. <laughs> watch, watch out for that hashtag Tavern Talk on uh, t uh, Facebook and Twitter. And next time we will promise to take your questions. So absolutely get those questions into us, and we'll get them answered on here. And yeah, thank you very much for joining us, and we we'll, we hope to see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple, couple of good videos there if you want to watch. <laughs>